these fundamental problems that, that beset California have to be addressed, and the governor's tried to address them since the day he took office. Hi, I'm Tim Cavanaugh for Reason TV. It's the fall of 2010, and once again, California's state budget is many months overdue. State workers are facing furloughs, layoffs, and pay cuts. Everywhere you look in this city around us, you can see the effects of deep and painful spending cuts. So why is all of this good news? Because the budget talks are just part of a larger struggle to solve California's half trillion dollar public pension crisis. Nationwide, the unfunded liability is $3 trillion. Um, um, the amounts that are owed for pensions are owed come hell or high water, unconditionally. David Crane, also known as the Cranium and Mr. Pension, has been an advisor to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger through most of his two terms. During that time, the governor has tried... His pension reform. ...and tried... ...pension and retirement debt... ...to fight the power of the state's public sector unions. For the most part, the unions have won. So while Schwarzenegger, Republicans, and even some Democrats want to solve the pension crisis, they haven't been able to do anything about it. Until now. Californians are paying higher taxes and fees for fewer government services, and they're hopping mad about government employees' lavish pay and pension packages. These fundamental problems that, that beset California have to be addressed, and the governor's tried to address them since the day he took office. And those problems are not something that happened just this year or last year. They're derived from things that happened years ago. This is not between Democrats and Republicans. I don't even look at that at all. With less than three months left in office, Schwarzenegger has made permanent pension reform his top priority, even if that means leaving Sacramento without a budget signed. Just one problem. The pension crisis dates back to a law, Senate Bill 400, that was signed more than a decade ago by Schwarzenegger's predecessor. Well, SB 400, which was passed in the late 1990s under the administration of Gray Davis, uh, so, uh, significantly boosted pensions not only for uh, and new employees prospectively, but it boosted every pension for every existing state worker. It was the largest issuance of debt in California history, and it was issued without voter approval or voter knowledge. Uh, it was a stunning issuance of debt, and what it did was uh, retroactively, as well as pers prospectively and statutorily, increase pension benefits for then existing government employees, including people who were going to be retiring the next day. State Senate Minority Leader Dennis Hollingsworth has introduced several bills to repeal SB 400 and related laws. There was an analysis by CalPERS, and the analysis basically said that things are going to continue rosy in the stock market. We expect things uh, will continue the way that they were in the late 1990s and early 2000, and that, that you would not see any contribution to stabilizing the fund by the taxpayers through the budget process uh, in excess of about $150 million for about a decade or more. What we've found now is that that was so far off that uh, we're actually looking at about $4 billion this year uh, coming out of the budget for stabilizing the pension system. The problem has gotten so severe that even some public sector unions have begun to compromise. I think what our members were looking for was security. The times are extremely difficult right now. This summer, six public unions negotiated contracts with the governor that effectively took new higher pensions back to their pre-1999 levels. Bob Wolf, president of the Forestry Firefighters Union, explains why. You know, it gives us, you know, it gives you comfort. You can go for the next three years knowing that your family's safe, your career's safe, and, and it gives three more years for the economy to turn around. But the bulk of state worker unions have not been willing to compromise on the pensions that are eating up an ever larger piece of the budget. Many progressives, including San Francisco public defender Jeff Adachi and union-friendly career politician Willie Brown, have come to understand how pension payments suck up funds for their own causes. Employee pensions and health care costs. That's one out of every five dollars that's being spent. But public employee unions still wield the political power in this overwhelmingly democratic state. The power rests with my party, with the Democratic Party, because it's democratic programs, programs that tend to be favored by Democrats, higher education, health and human services, environmental protection, parks and recreation. All of those programs are the programs that are squeezed out by growing pension costs. That's the way our budget works. So the, the state doesn't go broke, it just takes more money from other programs. 
So while California's budget debate looks ugly, it's putting pressure where it's needed most, directly on government employees. Certainly the pressure because of the budget deficits that we keep having uh, for them to get to the table and negotiate um, pensions that are uh, less generous uh, comes from things like the furloughs. Uh, it comes from things like the, uh, uh, the uh, threat of having to go to a, a minimum wage with the absence of a budget. Right now, the legislature and the governor are working on a framework budget agreement that reportedly includes a rollback of SB 400 and a mechanism to prevent the practice of pension spiking. It may be the last battle for Governor Schwarzenegger, but it's the first of many for the bankrupt and beleaguered Golden State. Pension costs are rising. They're doubling every four and a half years. That's going to happen even with reform, but the question is, for how long will they keep doubling at four and a half, every four and a half years? Without reform, they'll double at that rate forever. For Reason TV, I am Tim Cavanaugh.